Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg here, and what you're actually looking at is my TV. And why am I showing you my TV? Well, I subscribe to Verizon's Fios TV service. When I turned on my TV tonight, I got a message telling me that I can now access Twitter and Facebook from my television set. And I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So it's under this setting called Widgets, and there's a separate widget for both Facebook and Twitter. So I'll quickly show you both of them. I've already gone through and configured both of them to, uh, you know, f to set up my account. So I won't bore you with that part. It does ask for a pin every time I go to enter as part of the parental control feature, uh, you know, built into my, my cable system. So here is the Twitter side of things. You have four different sections. You can um, search for favorite topics and you have to add topics that you want to favorite. So I've already added, say, the iPhone. So when you click on that, it actually shows you all different tweets uh, related to the iPhone. You can scroll through and, uh, you know, look at each one individually and, uh, and so forth. The other topics are trending topics. You can view all the different trending topics out there. Um, say British Open is a trending topic. You click on that. It shows you all the different tweets related to the British Open. Uh, the next thing it does is show you tweets related to the current show that you're actually watching. So you can see over there I'm watching the King of Queens. When I hit that, it actually searches Twitter for all different tweets related to the King of Queens. And there you can see, again, all different tweets um, with the King of Queens mentioned in them. And then the last thing you can do is search tweets. Um, right now it's searching King of Queens. I can put in anything I want in there. Um, including my own username and uh, it actually will search for uh, my at replies when I do that. So I'll quickly do that. It's hard to type on this keyboard and I don't want to waste a lot of time but my Twitter name is L Greenberg so I'll quickly put that in as quick as I can without boring you guys just to show you that it actually shows you all of my mentions on Twitter. So while you can't actually view your timeline by doing this, you can actually see, you know, anytime you were mentioned uh, in Twitter. So let's see, there we go. I got my username in there, and I'll go to enter, and now it'll search for anything with L Greenberg, and that gives me all my at replies. Okay, so that's the Twitter side of things. Let me exit out of here, and now show you the Facebook side of things. It's also um, a widget, and go back to widgets and it'll load them up and I'll go to this widget, widget bazaar and there's the Facebook one already highlighted now again I've already um, put in my profile my you know email address and password and when you do that it asks you to create a four digit key so that you don't have to actually do that every time so I've done that already I'll put that in and it should load up my Facebook account right away and there it is, it's got my username, so um, I can put it in a separate one if I wanted to. So I'll click on my username. Again, it's asking me for my four digit code. So I don't have to put in the username and password every time. And there we go. So um, I can view my profile right from here. Um, shows me my latest status update. Go back, I can view all of my friends and their status updates right from here. Wait for that to load. There's all my friends' status updates. And you can scroll through and uh, you know view each one individually. When you click on one of them, it actually brings you to the person. So for example, if I go back to Travis, who's also a part of Gear Diary click on his username it should bring me to his profile page and which it does and I can see his photos um, you know etc so let me go back again show you the rest of the stuff on the Facebook side of things I can actually view my own picture albums right on here so let's say I want to have a slideshow uh, with friends over and show them you know my pictures all I have to do is click on that and then choose one of my albums 
which I'll do in a second as soon as it loads. So there's my the first album of my kids picking strawberries, for example. Actually, these pictures were very poorly um, shot, but there you can see they load, and you can scroll through each one. It takes a second for them to come into focus, but it's just like having a slideshow right on your screen. Kind of cool. Let me go back. And back again. Again, I can see all of my friends if I wanted to actually search for someone that doesn't have a status update. This is where you can actually update your status with what TV show you're watching. And then there's, of course, help. So that's it. I just thought this was interesting. Again, you know, it's just another example of, you know, Twitter and Facebook trying to take over every aspect of our lives. Now, uh, you know, taking over our TV set. So really just another excuse never to leave the sofa. Not only can I watch TV, but I can view my Twitter feed view my Facebook, update my Facebook right from the comfort of my own sofa. That's it for me. I hope you're having a great day out there and I will see you all soon.